Hi, this is Mr. Manley. In this video, we're going to talk about coterminal angles. And probably seen this a couple of times already, this idea that in trigonometry, we're putting angles on uh, x, y axis. And then if we're putting them in what's called standard position, we are starting at the positive x axis on this side, on the right side, and then rotating in a positive direction, we're going counterclockwise. So I'm going to uh, do that for this angle here, uh, 1,260 degrees. So that's going to be a little bit difficult to keep track of. But if I go around, uh, so we know if I go around, I'm rotating the angle, and then I just, if I go around once, that's 360 degrees. And then I keep going around, and now I've gone around twice, and that's 720 degrees. I go around a third time, and that's 1,080 degrees. So three rotations is 1,080 degrees. And then I need to go uh, till I get to 1,260. So that, what is that going to be? Uh, that is going to be another half rotation that is going to put me there. So how did I get there? How did I get to that position? I went around once, twice three times, and then I kept going 180 degrees and ended up there. That's a 1,260 degree angle. Now what we're being asked to do here is find an angle that is between 0 and 360 degrees that is coterminal. So we should know this terminology here that, that, that this is where the angle ends up is the terminal side of the angle. So coterminal means they end up in the same place. So I want an angle that's between 0 and 360 degrees that ends up in the same place as this 1,260 degree angle. And that's simply this. If I go, if I go uh, rotate around, 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 and then stop, how much is that angle? That angle is 180 degrees. It is coterminal. It ended up at the same place and it is between 0 and 360 degrees. So that's one way to think about this problem, is to just think about it visually. Another way that you could always think about this problem is to start with the 1,260 degrees and to subtract 360 degrees n times. So just keep subtracting 360 until you get to an angle that is between 0 and 360. Remember, that's the stipulation that we're going to get to an angle that is between 0 and 360. Okay, understand that? Now let's go ahead and look at this similar, the same question, but with radians, with an angle that is given in radians. Okay, in this case, we're going to look at this angle here. And it's negative. So this is an angle that is, in a, that is headed in a negative direction, which we should know is going to be in the clockwise direction. So rotating this way for negative 4 pi over 7. And let's see, 4 pi, if I, just, if I take the negative 4 pi over 7, I'm going to take a negative 4, and then I'm going to say times pi over 7. Just to make some sense of this, this is not anything that, that you need to do for this problem, but I just want to make sense of what's happening with this here. And we know that pi is half of a circle, so pi over 7 is half of a circle divided into sevenths. So if I take a half of a circle and divide it into sevenths, that's going to look something like this, like something like 1, 2, 3, 4 five, six, and then seven, something like that. Does that make sense? And then I need to do four of those. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And that's going to end up over here, somewhere over here. Something like that is where I would end up with this angle. Again, you don't need to do this in order to understand this problem, but it's, I think it's helpful to, to visualize what's going on. So we know where the angle, we know where, again, where the terminal side of the angle is. This is the terminal side, and we want a coterminal angle that ends up at the same place. 
but it's got to be between 0 and 2 pi. So that means I have to rotate in a positive direction and end up at the same place. Could probably logic our way to this. I'm going to go ahead and skip. Uh, well, let's go ahead and think about that for a moment. Yeah, I, I do like I do like the idea of logicking our way to this. Even though this may not be the way to do it, I I do like the idea of at least looking at this for sense making. That a circle has uh, two pi radians, a full circle. So that means that if I did it in sevenths, there would be fourteen over seven pi in a circle. So I'm just getting the denominator to a seven. I'm breaking up the circle into sevenths and saying that there's 14 of those. So if I, if we have gone four of those, if we've gone four of those this way, then how many am I going to need in order to go around this way and end up at the same spot? If there's four here, that means there's going to be 10 over here. So this is an interesting way to think about it, that the angle that is between 0 and 2 pi that is coterminal with negative uh, 4 pi over 7 is uh, 10 pi over 7. And that's all just doing it really visually is, what I'm, is how I'm doing this. Again, maybe not the way to do it, but I think it's good for making sense. Now I'll go ahead and show you a way similar to what I showed you for the previous problem that was in degrees. So remember in the previous, with the previous one, we, we had 1260 degrees, and I said subtract 360 degrees times n until I get between 0 and 360. Now see if you can extrapolate that and apply that to radians, and also the fact that this is negative. So obviously, if I'm coming from a negative value, I need to add. And obviously, if I'm talking in radians, I can't add 360. I have to add what's the radian equivalent of 360. I have to add 2 pi, and then I'm going to go n. So I'm going to add 2 pi n until I get to an angle measure that is between 0 and 2 pi. Of course, to facilitate the addition here, I'm going to want a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 7 over 7, and that'll give us the common denominator of 7 here. So we'll have the common denominator of 7. And then if we just add the first one, so I'm just going to start off with n, uh, n is 1. So I'll just say I'm adding uh, 2 pi times 7 over 7, which is the same as adding 2 pi plus negative 4 pi. And what's that? I have negative 4 pi, negative 4 pi, and then plus 14 pi over 7. And then it's simply negative 4 plus 14 is 10. And then we're, they have the pi in common, it's like terms, over 7. And we got to the same place, right? 10 pi over 7. So on, on both of these problems, I like the visual way of doing it, but uh, we also have this uh, simple sort of method for doing it where we add or subtract 2 pi n if we're dealing in radians, and we add or subtract 360 degrees if we're dealing with degrees in order to find these coterminal angles.